Hey everybody, it's Steve at Com3IT here, and we are coming at you with a Crypto Corner. Today we're going to be going over the Shibnobi product. We're going to go a little bit in-depth into their white paper, into some of their audits, um, go through a little bit of the recent news on them, and then check them out on Twitter. So this is their website. They are the world's most deadly Shiba. They say Shibnobi or Shinja is an innovative deflationary token aimed to revolutionize DeFi, building its own Kusari blockchain, introducing a multi-chain swap known as DojoSwap across Ethereum, Binance, Kronos, and Polygon. A mission statement, Shibnobi vows to change the crypto space, making it safe, fair, and more informative for the average investor and vetted projects. So uh, this looks like the day that it took off. No, that's actually today, January 27th at seven o'clock this morning. Had a huge run up, it looks like. Hmm, the chart looks a little weird. We'll go more in depth in it in a little bit as well. Uh, looks like they have direct purchase here on their website through flus.trade. Looks like you can use Google Pay, Visa, MasterCard, Apple Pay. So their total supply is 69 sextillion. The circulating supply is right about 39 sextillion. Looks like they have the contract address there, the telegram, and a little video advertisement on how to buy Shibnobi. Focusing on developing a user-friendly multi-chain swap and DeFi ecosystem. Here's another how-to guide, create your wallet, send ETH, connect your wallet to Uniswap, and swap ETH for Shinja. And here's their team. So Cliff is the CEO developer, Luke is the chief marketing officer, Andre is the designer, and Sparrows is the lead moderator. And how it works. A contract with self-feeding liquidity pool and marketing allowance with built-in reflections directly to its holders. Safe and secure 5% liquidity pool tax goes directly to the liquidity pool to forever strengthen the project's price floor. 3% reflection goes directly to each and every holder proportionately from each and every transaction. And 5% goes to the marketing wallet to further marketing the project. And there's the roadmap. So they've got social media set up, website developed, giveaways, marketings in process. They're doing AMAs, Uniswap, FEGX, and social media ads and influencers. Uh, listed on CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, exchange listings are coming. Hotbit, Bitmart, Probit, Gate.io, Crypto.com, Binance. In quarter one, they're looking at launching DojoSwap. In quarter two, they're looking at launching the Katana two-factor authentication wallet. And in quarter three, they're looking at launching the Kusari blockchain. They have quick access to all their social medias here, including LinkedIn profile. Let's take a look at that. So it has LinkedIn listed to employees. Looks like lead mod is on there and it's pretty much it. Okie dokie. It looks like they have their white paper, Shibnobi brand audit, tech rate audit, and KYC compliance all listed there as well. And each one of their buttons leads to different sections, oh, including linking back to the main web page and their roadmap. So let's go ahead and open up the <coughs> let's go ahead and open up. <coughs> Let's go ahead and open up the white paper. Okay, so looking through the white paper, it definitely does look nice. It goes in an overview of the token, talks about the tokenomics, talks about the initial coin offering and how it's going to be allocated. 70% is going to be used for liquidity, 25% allocated to marketing, and 5% is going to liquidity for FedEx. Okay, the roadmap we've already gone over. 
and multi-chain this is a big thing that they are working on so it's going to be multi-chain going between um, the ethereum network binance network and the matic network so it'd be kind of cool to see that in action and they are working on the dojo swap so it's a cross-chain token swap allowed you to trade between eth bsc and polygon or matic network um now you know why they're launching on all three networks makes sense and that is that for the white paper they do have a brand audit guide through augment house as well so that just talks about all of the different aspects of the branding imagery that's used so again they've gone pretty thorough on this tokenomics and transparency talking about buybacks and burn again their roadmap Analytic data. Shibnobi is able to provide a view into their analytical data and will provide access as required. Very cool. Public media. So Shibnobi is currently working on moving through the early stages of engagement with a public relations firm, as well as onboarding of copywriters to aid in the creation of content distribution roadmap for publication. Their information about their social media, Telegram, YouTube, tokenomics again. social media breakdown and that is that and the tech rate audit so the usual disclaimer as part of any tech rate audit tech rate was commissioned by shipnobi to perform an audit of this smart contract and the purpose of this audit was to achieve the following ensure that the smart contract functions as intended identify potential security issues with the smart contract the information in this report should be used under or to understand the risk of exposure of the smart contract and as a guide to improve security posture of the smart contract by remediating the issues that were identified pretty straightforward so it looks like they passed everything they do have some low issues with regards to denial of service with block gas limit we'll take a look at that so the out of gas the function include in rewards uses the loop to find and remove addresses from the excluded list. This function will be aborted with out of gas exception if there will be a long excluded address list. Okay. So basically what that's saying is if a bad actor sends a massive um, excluded address list to the contract, it could potentially cause an out of gas exception. The function get current supply also uses the loop for evaluating total supply. So that could also be used for an out of gas exception. Liquidity adding is the wrong proportion. And owner privileges in the period when the owner is not renounced, which it is not a renounced contract. And I know Cliff talked about that. So that the owner can airdrop, they can exclude from the fee, they can change the tax on liquidity, they can change the maximum transaction amount, change the marketing wallet, change the number of tokens added to liquidity. They can withdraw BNB and ERC-20 tokens. They can add and remove bots. They can allow trading. They can lock and unlock the contract to even retake privileges even after ownership was renounced. So again, it's all clearly laid out there in the contract. It is a, not a renounced contract, so it's able to be adjusted at any point in time, which a lot of folks love that because then you can go through and change things as necessary to continue growing the project. It does always concern people, but again, if you know that going in and you trust the developer, it is what it is. No bad feelings, no bad karma. So looking at the Certic audit, we can see a couple of things. Their security score is currently 82 out of 100. It has dropped 2.38% in the last seven days. If you look through the actual report, there's zero critical issues, four major issues, zero medium issues, five minor issues, and 13 informational things. Uh, seven issues were detected out of 33 on the vulnerability and security checks. Nothing was found on the on-chain monitoring check. The social sentiment is around 75% or neutral. The governance and autonomy is strong based on checking of the uh, privileged movements that have happened. Market volatility is in progress and is at a 70. And the safety assessment was good at 82 so if you look at the sentiment right now, um, 
62% is situated on neutral, 19.5% is positive, and 183 is on the negative side of things. And it looks like uh, Shinja just had a 97 ETH buy. Congratulations on that. <clears throat> they have uh, 15, sorry, 156,015 likes on their tweets, 339 ats today, and 17 tweets sent in their direction. They have 79,000 followers and 2,000 new followers today. You can see their uh, social keyword engagement bubble. And there's some of the chart information. They are moving up over the last seven days. Fantastic trend for them. And this is what the liquidity looks like as a whole. Quite a few different liquidity pool holders uh, with 25 million being in the wallet ending in 35FB and 1.7 million in uh, B7F4. And lastly, 602,000 in 4 AEA. If you look at the token distribution, it looks like that. So the burn address has 42%. B7F4 has 11.9%. A2DB has 4.49%. 5E2A has 2%. And then everything else goes down from there. And we'll go ahead and scroll back up. So if you look at, there was one thing I was looking at earlier. Uh, not safety. Safety is pretty solid. Not market. Governance. Okay. So governance, um, I have two questions, and I would love to see if I can find the AMA information, because I'm sure somebody's already asked this question of Cliff before. Um, there are two set fee percents that were deployed yesterday. If you look at the transaction and you click on see more decode input, it looks like the fee for taxes was actually changed to 5%, which I believe is the redistribution because for the month of February, Cliff said that they would hit uh, 5%. And then the liquidity fee was adjusted to 7%. So I don't remember hearing anything about that. So if you have any information on that, please feel free to comment it on here. Um, again, I'm always trying to learn more about these tokens. It's not FUD. I'm genuinely just trying to understand. Um, so like I said, I'm, I'm very bullish on the Sh uh, Shibnobi community. I do hold Shibnobi or Shinja. Um, other than that, again, just seeing, you know, while it's being added to the exclude from fee reward, there's a bot added and removed, which I tried to dig into that earlier and I couldn't figure out exactly what that bot did. So if you have any information, that'd be cool on that one. Um, that's just the insights that we saw earlier. And these are just the top callers, top transactions and events. So there's that. And we'll move on to the news. So in the news, I saw today that the L Bank Exchange listing for Shibnobi goes on January 30th. Pretty exciting. And I know they're doing five exchanges in like five weeks or something like that. It's pretty awesome for them. Um, and then this one is for the Probit. Yeah, Probit Global announced yesterday that it would be listing Shibnobi. And there was one other piece of news. Uh, Shibnobi announced on Twitter that the network will be burning one sextillion tokens alongside a celebratory GIF. So I know the community is excited about that. Um, definitely pretty solid for sure. And let's go ahead and jump over to Twitter. We'll check out the Shibnobi. Hashtag. So it looks like there's a lot of tweets going on where they were number one trending on Dex tools. Adam Shelton says pretty impressive um, that they were number one on the top searched Bitmart items. Uh, Shinja to be listed on Safe Moon Swap. And just a lot of people tweeting about it in general. You know, Faltron definitely isn't a fan of them. Um, I've seen him in their space, in their AMA, you know, chatting it up. So, you know, I love genuine conversation. So we'll see how that continues to pan out. And they hit that 50,000 holder mark, which is very exciting for them. I keep getting phone calls while recording this. Cool. 
So I do believe that is it. There was one last thing that I wanted to pull up as well. Um, because as you guys know, I talk about Yeti coin on here a lot, but this isn't about Yeti coin. It's about Shinja. And what I wanted to show you is that Yeti coin actually posted this in honor of Shinja or the Shinobi team. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get listed on their dojo swap and see what's going on. Again, if you have any other questions, if you have any other feedback based off this video, please make sure to add it below. We appreciate your time and look forward to doing more videos for you. Take care. Remember, we're not financial advisors, so please do your due diligence.